Okay, folks, I'm recording. I'm just going to do some playing around today and show you some stuff from our uh, Connecting Things class that's coming up. This is using the PL app. I'm going to walk through uh, loading that here shortly, but what I'm going to actually do is turn off a video. I'm going to share the actual PL app itself with this other launcher, which is sitting here, and you can see that I've got an offline right now. Here in a few minutes, it should go online. It's still trying to boot, it looks like. So hopefully it'll go. Um, typically, we'll go through and set up a new device, and I'll walk you through that live in a few minutes. But this is going to be a the KFC IoT device, which would be the PIL app. And what this is is an app that allows you to connect to the um, Raspberry Pi that you've got set up on your on your network. Now I'm going to jump over here to a different page and share screen two. I'll just share screen two so we can see it. And so now you can see the PL app. I clicked on connect. I put in the password to log in, and you'll see that I'm actually inside of now. Um, the Raspberry Pi that is sitting on my local network. Now this is important that it is on the local network with me. I'm actually clicked uh, on the device and it's actually sitting on the same network as my lab PC, or excuse me, my office PC. Um, now for the lab itself, you'll see here that we've got this launcher that's connecting over to the Raspberry Pi. Um, it is, I don't know if I can, I might be able to get this on the, on the camera. Get my camera turned on here, start video. And you can see this a Raspberry Pi right here with a um, Ethernet cable and the power cable is connected to it. And that's part of this Canna kit, Raspberry Pi Canna kit, that is part of the connecting things class. Um, ideas that you need, items that you need. Turn my video back off. And so now you can see um, some of the different things you can hear, access in notebooks, how to interact with it. Um, what we're gonna look at is a, um, this Jupyter open source project is a web page where you can connect to these, um, the Raspberry Pi and then run special apps off of that Raspberry Pi. So um, we've got multiple different types of uh, prototyping labs and, and items that we can do in here, but we're gonna look at just looking Connecting to it, which I've already done, so I'm actually connected to the KFC IoT, and KFC is my initial, so that's why I, that's it. And I'm logged in. So I'm going to look at a notebook. So we're going to go to Course Materials, Tutorials, and Demos Blocky folder. So we're going to go Course Materials, um, Tutorials, and Demos Blockly. And then we've got different items we can do in here. And this particular lab has us I'm clicking on the Real-Time Plot and Blocky. So I'm going to go to Real-Time Plot and Blocky. So click there, and you'll see that we've got Blocky, uh, which is graphing a line um, using, in this case, let's see, chart a line using graph level one for the count, uh, sleep five. So it's basically just charting a graphical line using um, random integers. Let's go back in here. So we're gonna look at this, and we're gonna go and should be at the bottom down here. I should actually be able to see as I run it. So let's see if we can run this thing. So now we're getting a chart here and see how it's being, grabbing different numbers. It will stop for 0.5 seconds. So it's a random, so it's some number from one to 100, uh, random integer, integer, one to 100, random integer, one to 100. So you can see it's, and then for five seconds it will go on. So there's two different labels here, label one, label two. Now let's see if we can't change. So I'm gonna go over here and just change a little bit on blocking the one to 100. Let's do one to 500. Okay, and then let's run it again. See what we get. See now we're getting different numbers here. So we're getting uh, the variable of the integer one, label one was one to 500, whereas the label two is still one to 100. So again, it's, it's just running this blocky code off of our Raspberry Pi through this PL app. So real-time plot, kind of cool. 
we'll change this to 1000 and this to 500. And then we can run it again and we'll see here the numbers here. So one 1000 says just doing our different labels. And so it does that for 10 times, for counter range 10 times. So it should have 10 different. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course we could change that if we wanted to. We'd go in here repeat to a hundred times. So now we're gonna run it and let's see what it does. It should give us a hundred different numbers. So it's gonna run it for 100 times and then it will stop. So it should run for a pretty good while here. But this is using the the pill app. Um, to get into and run some of these different items on our Raspberry Pi remotely. So that we don't have to have a, on this particular Raspberry Pi, we don't have a keyboard, we don't have any type of uh, monitor or anything of that nature. We just have it remotely accessible. Now, um, other things we can do is create new notebooks. All right, and I'll walk through this a little bit later. I'm not gonna do it right now, but show basically making your own notebooks and creating your own tutorials and demos so so this is lab um, 3224